Like, what message are you telling every black artist that's been on Atlantic Records when you put Elliot above Kaiser? Mm. You tell them that this is our shit. Don't ever forget that. Mm -hmm. We control. That's what you're doing. That's what I'm saying. So I believe there's a... Di so here's what I'm saying. The one... By the way, I'm not a conspiracy theorist the at all. Side. The, yeah, the so. one thing that changed my thought process... It was one thing that happened that... I don't know if people caught, but it, thought, it changed my whole thought process. Kanye West had his last number one in 2008 on that graduation album. Mm. That's his last number one. Dang. You mean to tell me from 2008 to 2023... He didn't put out one hit monster number yeah. one record. Nothing went number one. As soon as he goes independent, he goes number one. Mm. As soon as he goes independent, because there's nobody blocking. They, it's, 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 this, it's, this, it's this way they put the numbers in. So 32.1% 30, is billboard, I mean, is radio play. 60% mm -hmm. is streaming. They have these little ways that they do it. And after that, they change the rules. Mm -hmm. mm. So now radio is a more important factor in how we chart who's number one and now <laughs> because a nigga just went number one. So they are trying to keep us in our place. Okay. And and I don't think it's all of us. I just think it's the niggas that's like bag, 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 bag. What a bag at? What a bag? And they like, we got to get rid of them niggas. Yeah. <laughs> we got to humble them niggas, right? Because if you're in there doing business, I don't think it's all. I just think it's, you know, they want to just show us like if every rapper, if like the music business, the only business where when we start winning, I can't win. Yeah. If I'm behind the scenes, as exactly. soon as you start winning, you want to change the deal. Exactly. I got Turk signing me. We got we got 70 30, 70 his way, 30 my way. Yeah. I'm putting up all the money. I'm doing this. That's my artist. That's what I do. Now Turk winning. Now Turk like I don't like that 70 30 no more. I want to do 85 15. Nigga, what about <laughs> everything we have? Now we here. Yeah. But he knows that I'm the I am the product that was built. Yeah. So this shit don't work without me. So this is how I want it to be. But what he doesn't understand is that there's levels. Exactly. And if you want to get to where B is, you want to get to where all of them is and all that other stuff is, then that means you got to have a certain discipline with keeping your mouth exactly. shut. You yep. can't always say how you feel. You can't yep. always say what makes exactly. you angry. You got to be careful because this is a marathon we're running and you exactly. cannot treat it like a sprint. Oh, exactly. so I, think, I know. You know what I'm trying to say? <laughs> for sure. For sure. Like yeah. the only difference between yeah. some people is that just didn't say nothing publicly. They might have felt bro. it. That, that's yeah. what I'm saying. But it's levels, it's levels to this. And you think because you made the level three where you're making two, three million dollars a year, you want to cut me down. Now, nigga, I'm trying to get to two, three hundred million. Come on. Yeah. Cut me down after that. Come yeah. on. But don't cut me down as soon as the money come in. <laughs> the, the game in trouble, bro. We in trouble, bro, to the game. I'm telling y'all. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. What do you think needs to occur, though, for the next generations? Do you believe that there will be more execs to follow Ray Daniels and do what it is that you did? Uh, I, I, Is there I, even I, any I, room I, for him after all of these mergers? I would say yes. Okay. But it won't be in those buildings. Okay. It'll be outside. Mm -hmm. See, when I worked at every major label, when I walked in the room, when I came to do my last interview with you, yeah. I was SVP of Warner. My God. I was SVP of Interscope. I was VP of Epic. I worked at every label, and when I walked in the room, they would announce my title. That would offend me a little. Because mm. I'm acting like you are like, I ain't did nothing. Yeah. So now I just had to have the balls and the stomach to be able to take, knowing that once I say I'm not with a label, 90% of the people are going to leave the table. Come on now. But that 10% is the only percent that I really needed to make money with. That's anyway. right. So now, you know what I'm trying to say? I'm with so you. So I believe in myself. So nothing makes me happier than when I walk in a room and people say, that's Ray from The God Show. Come Wanna on know now. know why? Because that's mine. Mm -hmm. If you say that's Ray from Warner, I know that they can decide tomorrow that they don't want me there. Now you're I'm no just longer Ray. From War. <laughs> now I'm just Ray. Come on. You see what I'm trying to say? It's like they ain't going with the hot boys. Thanks. Once y'all left, it was over. They ain't start trying to do another one. That's what I'm saying. They had the respect of that. So for me, I just wanted to be Ray for Ray. Yep. I didn't want to be, and I, I thought that I was going to go back into a label, but now I know I never work, I never work at a record company. I'll work with one yep. because it doesn't matter how I feel about you. If I can hold you accountable to be better than the kids that's coming up like me, then my, it's not about me. It's always going to be about the future. Mm -hmm. Being a high-level exec, though, Ray, I mean, what were some of the jewels that you picked up that you were able to apply to your own game? Ooh, that's a great question. Here's what, you, here's what I picked up, is that labels don't have a button that they can push. Mm. Mm. Labels cannot, this is what I want people to understand. Talk when, to me. When I was at this record label, when I, when I realized that in 2013, okay. and I went to my next job in 16, I was working at Interscope, I remember talking to the president, and I remember saying to him, the revolution is happening outside, we need to open the doors. Ooh. Because I was like, because it went from us picking who we wanted to sign to them picking if they wanted to sign us because their numbers was up. And now we, so I'm like, man, we got to reverse this now. Because now look at it, dog. 
What's the point of being an A&R? First of all, they don't even need A&R positions unless they're going to let you develop. Mm -hmm. What's the point of being an A&R, right? Think about that. Mm -hmm. Like, if I'm an A&R, if I can't sign you because I think you're talented, I have to sign you because you got numbers up. Mm -hmm. The Ren and Ten thing. Yeah. Hip-hop Dalmatians. Mm -hmm. I got to sign them because they have numbers up, but they might have, people might be watching them for the comedic version of what they're doing. They might be watching them for music. Yeah. They might be watching them because, they might be watching them because they're stupid. It's so many reasons to watch things. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Just because they got eyes don't mean it's the eyes that we want, but they don't care about that. Mm -hmm. And my thing is, I would always be like, well, what are they doing that we can't teach these artists in here to do? Yeah. Because labels are now the, the place where artists go to die. Mm -hmm. You want to know why they die? It's not because they ain't, they, because now the label told them, you with us now. Mm -hmm. You good. <laughs> now what they do, they let they take their hands off the wheel, <laughs> they let their foot off the pedal, die. and they die. That's why I tell you, people are like, what's the difference between independent and major? Nothing. You better do the same thing you did when you was independent, even exactly. when you're on a major. You better hire your own, own marketed person. Don't let the label have the social media person that run. Hire your own because that person, they, and it's not a lot of money. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't understand how artists don't invest everything that I'm being honest with you. I make good money from the guy's show, but I'm still a few hundred thousand in a hole. Yeah. Because every dollar I get, I put back into that. Mm. Because that's the baby that's gonna feed me forever if yeah. I get it where it needs to be. Yeah. My media yeah. company. Yeah. So I don't understand how artists make millions of dollars and don't say, yo. I'm gonna pay you five thousand a month. All I want you to do is be my social media manager. I'm gonna pay you five thousand a month. I want you to just be my marketing manager and build with these people. But I just don't get why they're not doing that. Yeah. And that's because labels don't want them to, because they want to have the power to do it. Exactly. So it's all about power at the moment. And they think about those names, bro. Like you see people. Okay, he got a name. Well, he had to brand his name to get that name. Yeah. They don't understand branding. Yeah, you know sure. what I'm saying. Brand, branding is branding, branding is, is the very key. Important. It's the, mo you know it's the most saying? important. Yep. Exactly. What I always loved about you, though, Ray, even though you held all of these high ass positions, you always kept your business going at the same time. I've never made more money from a label as a label job than I made from Radar. Exactly. I've always made more money from Radar. I won't say this another thing. Radar paid off all my houses. Radar put, is it put radar? Is it called paydar? <laughs> okay, damn. It's radar, yeah. but it should be paid off. <laughs> exactly. That's what pays the bills. Exactly. Radar. My label job paid the bills. Radar acquired the things. Mm. That's why I start off saying all my shit paid off. Yeah. yeah. Because I was like, I don't know if they're gonna take it all from me, but they, I'm gonna pay everything off, and I'm gonna start over. And now, y'all, if y'all do send me home, which they did. Don't go there with me. Which they did. I paid off the house, and then I kept hustling. I ran into a lot of money this year, and I paid off the rest of the houses and everything. Because I'm like, they will if they know <laughs> you need them, mm. they own you. Mm. If I know Woo! you need me to pay your bills, I fucking own you. Exactly. So I eliminated that need. So exactly. then answer me this, though, Ray. Does it make it more difficult for them to deal with you when you don't necessarily need no, that job? No, it makes it difficult for the Ones that don't know shit to deal with me. You know, it's like, you ever seen the movie Negotiator? Yes, One of my sir. favorite movies. Remember when Samuel Jackson was in the house and he said, he, he wanted the guy, he was, and they was like, why do you want this guy? And he's like, I want him. And then they would put his other guy on the phone. He was like, you're not about to try exactly. to negotiate with me, are you? <laughs> and he's like, it's like, that's what it is. My interaction with labels exactly. is that now. It's like, you know if you call me, I'm too smart. I know too much. You can't sell me on the highs of the, it's, he, got, he got a lot of momentum. Everybody got momentum. Come on. He got you, you. If you want me, I'm going to remove all of that hype and say, this is what you want. This is what I can do. And here's how we start. That's why everybody I manage is rich because you ain't just good. The, 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 the entry is easy for anybody. Come on. But you can get in the building all day. But if you want to get to the floor where the action has happened, now we have to establish something different. Mm -hmm. I've always been like that. Did you feel like you were on a treadmill, though, when you went to those different labels? Do you feel like you was like on a ticking clock? No, I didn't know. That was the part. I didn't. I. I couldn't imagine. I, I was so good at it. I didn't yeah. think that I would ever not be able to do it, mm -hmm. cause I was good at it and I didn't care for the fanfare. So yeah. I wasn't the guy that was like, "Why well, wasn't that picture?" I went to the press. I don't care. 